Welcome back to Gentle Giants. The Norwegian Fjord horse is a relatively small but very strong horse. It's one of the world's oldest breeds and known to exist in Norway at the end of the last ice age. They were domesticated more than 4,000 years ago. They were uh, developed in the western fjords in Norway and uh, there are pictures of them with Vikings a thousand years ago. So they've been around for a really long time and being in an isolated place, they developed their own breed characteristics. And one of the reasons that I personally think that they have such great dispositions is that if growing up in the fjords of Norway in the fight or flight response, if they flew, they'd be off the edge of the cliff and they'd be dead. So the ones that survived and inbred were the ones who were patient and would think before they ran. The farmers used them for everything. They were a family member. Uh, they, they learned to subsist on lichens and mosses uh, and bark in the wintertime because there wasn't much there, so therefore they're very easy keepers. The characteristic is easy keepers. Um, of course, they're beautiful. The range in size is anywhere from 13 hands. We've even seen 16 hand ones, but in general, they're between 13-2 and 14-2. So we consider them a small draft breed. They call these primitive markings, the dun markings. They have the stripe, the dorsal stripe that comes from the mane, the forelock, all the way down the mane. And we trim the manes to emphasize the black, to see it. And this is a traditional cut. These, these manes will grow out and be long. But in Norway, this is the way they always cut them. They're, they're not braidable or anything. They're very, very, they'll grow out like this, but they'll fall on both sides. They're very thick and very coarse. So this, is, this has always been the traditional way of cutting them, and we maintain that tradition. And you see the dorsal stripe goes all the way down the back and all the way through the tail. So, um, and then the other st striking markings, some have more of these than others, but they have the primitive leg markings. We call them zebra stripes. Some of them are very definite stripes like this. Um, and some of them are more light, but so there's a lot of variation between each horse, and you'll see that as you, if you were to walk down the aisle here. There's five colors of dun that are accepted. Um, brown dun, which is the most common, and you'll see a lot of these down the barn aisle. There's gray dun. We have the uh, red dun, which is a red stripe down the back, which is just quite beautiful. And we have white duns. We want to keep the lines very, very rich, so we can maintain all the different things that fjords do, which is, includes draft work, and they do dressage, they can be quite sporty. So on so many levels, these are dreams, personal dreams, the dream of, a, of a, one of our beloved uh, people in our registry, and, and the dreams of Norwegian immigrants for, you know, who immigrated without their horses, and then ultimately in the 50s, we started importing them. We got the news and, you know, it was hard work with the application. It was like applying for 13 horses to go to college, you know, at Harvard or something. And, but then after that, the real work started. And you see, they each have their own personalities, but they're all very sweet. You rarely ever find a grumpy fjord. And they're wearing traditional Norwegian bunads because this is all about Norwegian culture. When we return, we'll learn that riding in the Rose Parade means bundling up and being in line very early in the morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. These are and, my horses. Uh, yes, they are, because you're Norwegian. <laughs> yes. And this is the Norwegian Fjord Horse Registry. They were domesticated more than 4,000 years ago, believed to be one of the oldest and purest breeds. I got a chance to meet these people. And these small horses, they're small and chunky. And I'm sure you're going to see them coming up on Gentle Giants, because I've just got to do a story on them. They, you ought to see their markings. They're, they're in several colors, but they're just slight variations. They're mostly white, but down the middle of their mane, you can see that. Some of them have got black just down the middle of their mane, and they purposely cut their manes like that. They're hardy little horses. They can use them for pulling carriages. Yes. They ride them English. Um, they use. They even can train them for dressage. They can really get these horses highly schooled. And they tell me that they're so calm and so gentle and so Very. willing. And you might recognize that. That's the authentic costumes of Norway. 
We want to thank all of you for watching Gentle Giants this week. Pam and I had another great year at the Rose Parade. The Tournament of Roses Committee really knows something about hospitality. 900 volunteers and they made us feel right at home. This really is a bucket list event. We want to thank the Norwegian Fjord Association and Maribeth Scott who gave you a ride on Chris. And that was a lot of fun. Before you catch us again here on Gentle Giants, you can see us anytime on Facebook.